This is like a microwave in Minecraft. How sweet is that? What's up guys, JFM here, back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. In this video, I'm going to be going over some different redstone creations built with the Pocket Power mod made by Byte and a Half. I think this is going to be a great idea. If you guys have any creations you'd like me to check out, go ahead and tweet me. I'll try to look and uh, keep an eye out for some pretty awesome ones. But hopefully you guys do enjoy these two today. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so this is a little bit of a passcode lock, which should open that iron door over over there. This was created by DillaPrice010 on Twitter, and he says um, you need to basically just pull down four of the levers, and uh, pull down four levers, a number could be spelt two instead of, uh, I don't get that, <laughs> but uh, read all of the signs. So we have signs over here that will hopefully help us figure out what the four numbers are. So I'm going to look through here. Okay, read these signs to guess the code. A box of chocolates costs 136 in Tesco's. Steve, play, Steve played Minecraft because his friend was playing it. Steve, oh, wait, 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 those are numbers right there. Okay, 136. Okay, let's flip down one, let's flip down three, and let's flip down six. I think we have to look for one more number. Uh, let's just look through here. <gasps> okay, okay, look, there's, uh, there's seven right there, and there's also zeros, but, oh, uh, okay, no, there are no sevens. All right, so I'll put down the seven, I think is, that's four. Is that going to open up the door? Am I going to get it that fast? Am I? No? <laughs> no? Come on, that's got to be right. That has to be right. Oh, okay, so no, no, I guess not. I guess not. Okay, we'll flip these back up. What in the world could it be then? All right, guys, so I was messing around with the code. I don't know why this works, but it's actually one, four, seven, and eight. I have no idea where he gets that from. Absolutely no clue, but that is the code. And as you can see, if I have this code down, it will actually open up the door. Um, if I get uh, one part of the code wrong, let's say I have one up, and instead I have three down, it's not going to actually open the door. So this is a fully working door, uh, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go through, and then this will take me to the treasure, which is a ton of cake and diamond and gold blocks. So it's pretty exciting. And this is how it actually works. Um, this is in case you wanted to make one. And uh, yeah, so this is all, this is basically everything that went behind it. It's not too, too complicated, but uh, it is pretty cool. And I just got a text message. How about that? So let's head on over to the next Creation. All right, guys, so this next creation is a redstone timer, and it's actually really, really cool, and it's really easy to read as well. So if you can see, this, uh, the no there's a number right here up on this board, and that number is 38. If you're having trouble seeing it, just kind of like squint your eyes, and you should be able to tell that it's 38. And uh, yeah, so now what I can do is if I turn this timer on, we should see the timer actually count up. Now this is what's behind the timer. This is where all of the magic happens. It's it's really cool. It's even got a convenient start button back here. So let's go ahead and press to start and you guys can see some of the redstone in action. As you can see, there is a ton of movement. This one on the left is changing the ones digit and this one on the right is going to change the 10 digit. So every second, this should uh, change a little bit and then every 10 seconds, this should change a little bit. So that is kind of the basic very extremely basic uh, an explanation of how it works. Obviously, it's really confusing. It's got a ton of different redstone and whatnot. But if you come over here, you can see it's clearly counting up. So we're at 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and so on. If you squint your eyes, you'll easily be able to tell that this is perfectly counting up in Minecraft Pocket Edition. It is really, really cool how this was made. Um, so I'll, I don't know, I'll definitely have a link to both of these maps in the description. This one is by far the best, though. I mean, this is just incredible. Look at this. It's counting It's counting like it's a calculator or a timer or, or microwave or something. I don't know. That's what this is. This is like a microwave in Minecraft. How sweet is that? This is just, like, incredible. So this is definitely a really, really cool mod. I don't know if they just uh, knew how to do it on PC and just duplicated it into, you know, and just recreated it, it would be the better word, and into Minecraft Pocket Edition. However they did this, I think it is really, really cool. So if you guys 
guys would like to check out the timer or or the uh, the passcode door, uh, you guys can go ahead and check those out. They will be in the description. If you guys have any different creations you guys would like me to showcase in the next segment of Redstone Creations, let me know as well. I've been wanting to do this series for a little while. I just couldn't find too many uh, too many ones that I could showcase. So, if you guys want to speed up the production, maybe see more episodes mm, faster, <laughs> then go ahead and tweet me some awesome creations, and I will sure to get more videos out if you guys enjoy. So, yeah, that was this Redstone Creations video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.